Come on. Go in. Oh. oh. No way! I made probably one of the most insane journeys of my entire disc golf career. I spent about 20 hours traveling to Finland and drove an additional six hours and I actually got to play with a player that has just signed the biggest European contract ever in the sport. So I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is certainly one of the most insane rounds I've ever played and I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. So with that, let's get into it. All right, today we have somebody very special. You probably know about him, the uh, Nordic phenom, Nikos Antala. <laughs> that's sick, that's sick. <laughs> All right. I hope that we can hit at least one hole in one today. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, we can so still quick. see the disc. That's a bonus. <laughs> Yes. Every time you're gonna find your disc, it's a good shot. Wow. You made it look like it was just like 100 feet. Yeah, it's very slick uh, okay. on this end, so. <laughs> this is crazy. Be careful. All right. Oh. It's a putt. I will throw one more just to yeah. warm up. Come on. Go in. Oh. 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 No way. Oh. <laughs> Why, son? Yeah, you're yeah. recording? Yeah! It's so wow. deep. Come on, man. Oh. oh, almost. Nice. This is crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's actually uh, holding me pretty good. I'm not like deep down in there. Very. Hey, if you'd have aced that, man. Yeah, I was so close, man. So, did you do anything to celebrate the new contract? I mean, I was sick for uh, one week straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's been... I have been good now for like two days. So yeah, okay. I haven't been able to do much, but I will when I when I go to the US for sure. Yeah, it kind of seems like you almost are gonna do better because you're off season. You can't go outside, so you have to just train. Yeah, because the, like, the difference is so big. Like from this to like, Florida under the sun and everything, yeah. it's like, I feel so good when I go there. Yeah. Have you ever played that course? No, never. It's actually my first time in Florida. All right, hole two. We have a very long hole. It's 40 meters, a bit uphill. Let's see. Oh. No, so. forehand. Boring. This is a crazy tea pad. <laughs> That's good. Easy. Close. Bullseye. There we go. <laughs> nice. There you go. I also have a question for you. Yeah. What made you to come to Finland? So, <laughs> it was all there. Yeah. Uh, she really wanted to see the Northern Lights, and so she's been like talking about it forever. Yeah. We we're gonna go to Iceland, but it was just way too expensive. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I got a cheap flight to Oslo, and then I was like, all right, if we can get to Oslo, we can get to Finland. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. Have you seen the Northern Fl Lights? Uh, Did you see them? A little our first day. All right, yeah. a little, yeah. Do you go crazy not being able to see the sun during the winter? Yeah, it's, especially when I went to school, I went to school at like 8 a.m. and I go to home at like 4 p.m. So it was dark when I went to school oh. and dark when I went to home. So I oh. never never saw the sun like in like four months or so. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But then the summer, I guess you're not here in the summer, but it's always sunny, right? Yeah, it's like, it's never dark in the summer. We can play disc golf like 24 hours a day. <laughs> Like yeah, it's like dark. Day and night all the time. Yeah, it's dark like at like at the latest at at like 7 p.m. Yeah. So it's it's different for sure. I actually have I have actually played like 27 hours straight disc golf. What? I played like 12 12 rounds and 210 holes. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's my record. That's a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> But I was young. I was like <laughs> 17 or 16. You're still young. I'm 22 now. <laughs> Feeling old. I think I lost the disc. <laughs> One more. <sighs> no. Let's 
skip? All right, one more. I think you will age it with this one. Okay. <laughs> Good old pure. Nah, too straight. It's on the next tee, bud. So you were 17 when you started playing professionally? Ye yes, yes, That's yeah. That's cool. I was um, 17. How, how have you been playing this top? It's been like seven to eight years now. So, yeah, I I have been playing like competitions like almost all the time when I have played. So. So you started off good. Yeah, I was fast learning, you know. Yeah, I was, I was reading about like your uh, early career, and like within a year, you already won like the the, the Finnish championship for in juniors, eighteen under. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I would get an ego if, if I was you. <laughs> so I I used to play like ice hockey and football and and like, do you know floorball? It's like floorball. ice hockey without skates and oh, it's okay. like with the ball. So oh. I used to do that like for like. 10 years and ice hockey for 8 years and stuff, so... Wow. I have been in the sport for like all my life. No! Oh. <laughs> my bad. Oh, it's pretty good, bud. Come on! Yay! Oh. Let's go! <laughs> That's too easy. Yeah, too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh. The walking is way more difficult than throwing the disc. <laughs> it really is. Start frame. Okay. This hole has actually been aged by Simon Lissat. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. It was like maybe 2017. I need to go stand still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it's putting. <laughs> Is that your P1? That was Sensei, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let's do a mid round shout out. Yes. So you, you just announced a brand new P1. P1, yeah. It's actually this one. Just yeah. a different stamp. So it's a okay. new like, it's a flex tree glow. So okay. it's, it has a like good slick feeling that I like. Nice. When it's hot, hot in summer, so cool. it's very good. And you can get on Dismania now. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Team Dismania. Right. And you have a new disc coming, right? Or is it still in the works? It's still like, I only have ideas in my head. Gotcha. But it's very exciting to like design my own mold and my own disc. It's always time has been like my a dream of mine. Yeah. yeah. So it's finally true. So exciting times. That's cool. If you yeah. could say what speed at least, what do you think the speed would be? I'm between like I think it's gonna be like four. Maybe oh, four. Four speed, okay. Yeah. Nice. So but it's only my idea at the yeah. moment. Yeah. yeah. We won't hold you to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only time will tell. Do you have any ideas? What should I do? Um I mean, Dismania has a lot of molds, so I'm not yeah. familiar with everything. Honestly, I, I would go tilt, but it's already been done. Yeah, we almost have like everything. We don't have yeah. like anything missing at the moment. Maybe I do like a like a better version of some some mold, yeah. which I don't like that much. Yeah, improve <laughs> you, it. Improve yes. The one that exists. Yes. Yeah. You like flippy, right? Yeah, I like understable. So maybe, maybe something that's understable. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, hydro flips. Yeah. So there's not too many four speeds that are understable yeah. in Dismania. I actually. Uh, I was in Kansas City like a year ago, yeah. and I was just casually playing Rosedale Park, and I saw you playing, and I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is Nicholas doing here? Yeah. Was it last year? Yeah, last year. Yeah, maybe Vaino and Thomas was also yeah. there. Yeah. I remember somebody razzed you, I was like, come on. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Favorable tree hit. <laughs> It's almost like skating. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh. All right, you need to try my P1. All right. <laughs> if it's good or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. This is definitely uh, thicker and grippier than. Yeah, it's a, I like the plastic. It's very yeah. good feeling. Oh, it's going no. in. All right, take Too two. Nice. <laughs> I have a three in my way. 40 feet. It's so wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Annoying. No! Oh, darn. It's pretty sweet hole. It's so wet. <laughs> <laughs> 
too much, Darren. That's flying. <laughs> wow. They will find it. Shout out to Kyle. It's his logic. One of my new favorites. We will, we will try and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a little too hard. It slips. That's putting. So when you play in Finland, do you get a bunch of like publicity? Do people like recognize you or is it still kind of low key? It was crazy when 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 COVID happened, like everything was shut down and people were like crazy about disc golf because it was played outside and everybody could do it like because for example like ice hockey or football like every team sport was shut down so everybody was playing disc golf so it was like so crazy we had like 2000 spectators in the tournaments oh, i was recognized like every day in the, in the store and stuff and it's still like that sometimes i definitely get recognized every day at least once That's so cool. yeah it's it's kind of crazy though, <laughs> because I'm only a disc golfer. So deep. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Oh. Close. <laughs> Look at this thing. My new favorite. It's so beautiful. All right, we are on the longest hole of the course. So it's 81 meters uphill. Yeah. Oh, parked. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It's down the hill. Yes. But this is almost the same thing. Just a different disc. It's a method in, in the new sea line plastic. Fly so good. <clears throat> All right, so uh, at least for me and all the US guys that I know, they say that the food is very different in Finland. The food? The, yeah. I did hear that. Yeah. I, do, do you like it or no? So I like to try all kinds of new food. Yeah. I like, it was good. Yeah. She's, she's less enthusiastic. Yeah, it's very different for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's very different. Yeah, eating reindeer was certainly odd, but it was good. Yeah, I, I like reindeer. It's not like my favorite, but it's like, it's good food. Yeah, I heard that, for example, like Chris Dickerson, he's only eating like like chicken and pizza in, in the US. And then he was trying to find good pizza and good chicken in Finland, but he couldn't, <laughs> couldn't do so. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine trying to eat healthy on tour. Yeah, it's... It's just a lot easier to go to like Chipotle or stuff and yeah. grab something. Wow. <laughs> hey, didn't lose it. Oh. It's you hard need, to throw when you, you need the P1. Alright. <laughs> oh. No, it's so, so like difficult. Yeah. I want my new style. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> More. Kyllä. Joo, siellä on aika paljon lunta. Joo, kyllä. Yeah, you understand? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally understood all that. <laughs> yes, kiitos. That's all you need. Not the best, but I will take it. Come on! Oh, it's <laughs> gonna be so good. I will throw one more. Pretty Almost. So I had a lot of people asking how you developed your form. I know you said something about like kind of mimicking it after Paul, but that was like years ago. So how yeah, did I was. Developed? I was a big like uh, Paul fan. I was watching his game like every day. I was watching all the tournament he played and I was trying to somehow like do like he's doing but and I thought in my head that I was doing like he was doing but it was like 
way different when I was filming my shots. So yeah, I was trying to be like Paul, but I was, I failed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's failing if you, you beat him quite a bit. I think the craziest part of our finished trip so far is like people just bike in the snow like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, they do it. <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't even be outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, my mom and my dad also, also do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. They have like the fat bikes with like the fat, the fat wheels. Oh, yeah. Way too low. All right. C1, we are like, how many feet? Like maybe 30? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, not my day today. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> we have two more holes. Yeah, how was uh, Emporia for you? Emporia, hmm. It's, I remember 2022, I was playing the DDO. It was so windy. I have never seen it before. It was like, I was partying with the PD2 at some point. And it was- A PD2? Yes, <laughs> the last PD2. Oh wow. I will throw three and try to try to waste the hole. Oh. All right, not bad. Come on. What? Oh. Oh, you got the All distance. Right. Yeah. It's like a foot right. I will take those. Um, yeah, but I, I feel like I, it's like helping me in a way, so it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah nice I shot, know. nice shot. Yeah. All right, do you need to throw one of my discs now? It's my favorite, MD1. MD1, all right. I think you will like it. Yeah. <laughs> Take your picture with it. <laughs> it's my baby. I have a, like a five-year-old MD1. Yes. I definitely like it. Two turns. It's flying good. Yeah. Nice. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know you said in the podcast, uh, the upshot that you were like not feeling great after USDGC. Yeah. But uh, you did just get like second at Champions Cup pretty soon after. So did that like boost your confidence? I mean, it was like, it was kind of showing me that. It wasn't like an accident to be second in in a major. So if you do it like twice in a row, it's kind of it's definitely not an accident. Yeah, not an accident. And but it's also frustrating because I would much rather be like like win a tournament once than be second twice in a row. You know? Yeah. So yeah, the the Calvin syndrome. You can almost win everything. But yeah. Not Yes. Yeah, I'm, I would bet money that you win a pro, pro tier tournament in the next two years. Yeah, I, me too. I just need to like calm my head down because if I'm thinking about like winning the tournament every time, when I go to the tournament, it's like, it's, it's, with it's like playing mind games with, my, with myself. Not, yeah. a, not a good thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> All three, nearly <laughs> That's right. It's insane. It was close, but not three. <laughs> like I will do three again. Sounds good. Try to ace it now. My last chance. Oh. Nope. Pretty close. Oh, I want, I will empty my bag. It's a good line, but. Sorry. Ah. Uh. No.
Oh, oh are you good? We totally Thank got you. that. Thank you. So with that, that concludes a nine hole in Finland with Niklas. I hope you guys, um, you guys see that it's way different to play disc golf in Finland. It's like winter time and stuff, so it's not very easy and we need to sacrifice a lot to be like a disc golfer. It's madness. Yeah. All right, so now that you're on the highest level at Tasmania, how does it make you feel as a pro player and kind of your uh, level of success in disc golf? Yeah, I mean, Sky Team has always been like low-key my, my dream, even though it's not like, like a big difference in my life or stuff, but it's like, it's nice to like be like the face of the company and yeah. represent like the highest team they have. So it's like a honor to me. I know the Europeans love this mania and I'm sure they love you. So yeah, I think it's, it's a great fit. Yeah, I think this mania is like at the moment like the most sold brand in, in Europe. So wow. it's uh, something to do with like the quality of the disc, I think. Oh yeah. And also they have good players in Europe, so. <laughs> you have to be totally truthful. But did you ever consider going somewhere else or was it kind of always just mania? Um, for sure there were times that I was almost sure that I was gonna leave. Only because I didn't feel like I needed a change in my life, but I need, needed something like, something more to, to like, to be able to play in in US and like make disc golf. To make disc golf my job, I need to like do it as good as I as I want to do it. So I need money to to play around the world. It's not very cheap to do it. So, but I'm very happy how it ended up, and I'm more than happy to stay at Disc Mania. Yeah, I feel like this is just my observation, but you've been at the top for a couple of years now. Yeah, but you're not often kind of like recognized as one of like the big three or at the top level. Does yeah. that bother you or do you kind of think, well, my skill kind of shows, so it's not really important? Uh, to be honest, I don't really care like what other people think about me, yeah. but it's like, I also see it myself because to be honest, my, my game is like somewhat boring to watch because I, I don't take like any big risk or stuff, yeah. but it's working pretty good. And yeah. only thing that matters to me is like, if I play good scores and yeah. that's like how you win the tournament. So so it's like a, a little bit complicated, but I think that I'm also like, a, because I'm from Europe and I'm not one of like the US guys. So I'm a bit different that way. So I'm happy where I'm at and I didn't change the thing if I, if I could. Yeah, and I was doing research and I saw your throw-ins the past couple of years. Yeah. Definitely not boring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, did you see the, the Swedish one? Yeah, yeah. I saw it. And then uh, <laughs> my favorite one is the, um, the Tor Finals last year. Yep, yep. <laughs> At Nevin, that, that's my favorite so far. <laughs> yeah, those shots are just absurd. I've watched them back so many times and I'm like, he couldn't have been even going for the basket. How did it go? Yeah, and I didn't see the basket in either of those. So I was just <laughs> throwing blind. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's crazy, crazy. Where do you see European disc golf going in the next two years? And with the multiple majors in Europe in 2025, do you think you're gonna get a major win in the next two years? I think that disc golf in Europe is growing like all the time. And especially with Christine doing like crazy stuff in the US and all over the world. Like she is really like bringing European disc golf to people's, people's mouth and stuff. Yeah. And they are like talking about it all the time. And I think 2025 is going to be the biggest biggest year for European disc golf ever. It's gonna oh, be yeah. like two majors, hopefully uh, like a European swing as well at the disc golf pro tour. Oh yeah. And that way it's gonna be at least, I, I think it's gonna be crazy if there's not gonna be like at least one European winner on those those events. And yeah. I hope it's me, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think your odds are good. Yeah. And, and Christians. I know you had very strong feelings about the championship cup, champion cup placement for this year. Yeah. Now it's been a couple of months since how do you feel about it all? I, I like the tournament like time-wise right now because it's like making more sense that we have at least one major like in the in the beginning of the season, kind yeah. of. Um, it makes sense that way, and I also like the Champions Cup like being played in the woods because yeah. we don't have that many like fully wooded courses on tour anymore. Yeah. So I have never been to the North World before, but. I'm looking forward to being there and 
at least what I what I have seen in the videos, it looks like a good good course for me. So yeah, should be fun times. And I like your videos. I have been thank you. I have been seeing I think almost all of the videos this off season and oh, all sweet. the all the player <laughs> movements and stuff. Sweet. Because we don't see like that much of like the US side of things. Mm -hmm. I know almost everything about Europe, but I don't know like all the rumors about what's happening on the US side. So oh, yeah. you have been kind of my guy. All right, be sure to check out his Glow P1s yeah. on Just Mania yeah. Now.